good, man? You are now back RTTV, baby. Hey, 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 hey. And if it's your first time here, definitely will be a last for you. Kill, murder, and smash. smash that subscribe button, man. And welcome to RTTV, where we react to everything. Everything. And we are back with another episode of Peaky Blinders. We are almost at the end of season three. We got two more episodes. And right now, it couldn't be more intense than it is, man. We got Tom and Shelby just got a skull cracked. Mm -hmm. Still was able to make a play uh, for his exit so that he can go and make sure that the Russians got beef with who he needs them to have beef with. Man, Tommy's in a tough, tough spot. The family, the women are striking. Linda's like, yo, I'm taking Arthur, and now nah, you ain't giving him 20 pounds. You're giving him 41,000. Stop playing with that, man. So let's see what happens with Tommy's plan, man, because right now it just seems like everything's falling apart. For shit. Head over to our Patreon right now for full and uncut reactions of this show and many other shows and movies with RTTV. And without no further ado, episode five. Shites. Shites. I need to speak to you about the priest from when I was a boy. Is that Michael? I don't know, bro, because this shit about... Yeah, bro, fuck, bro! bro. Yeah, Didn't I say that shit? Fuck. I will shoot him myself. Oh, what the fuck were you talking about? Yeah, about? I don't know what you was Remember thinking. Remember I was like that, that the, his inside shit. dude is Michael? Oh, Tommy was sleeping through that. We'll, we'll get that later. <laughs> yeah. I think they canceled the robbery, you know? Yeah, well, the robbery, was wasn't supposed, the robbery was supposed to be in June. It's supposed to be in June. Oh, yeah, Correct. yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what Michael did. Oh, he dumped it out. He asked for me today. You have to emphasize on this lady a lot, though. Y'all might be right about her. Should I be up? He missed you. Expect the least expected. Yeah, she's the least expected. This is with the girls and Johnny. You want to know what happens next? No. Neither do I. So I pulled the medicine away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see what happens next, so I don't want to get high no more. Yeah. That shit was funny. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the dude that he had told. Yeah, the translator. I hope so, Tommy. You accept his plan. You see that line there? No. That's the edge of heaven. The border between Birmingham and Paradise. Take my brothers to the kitchen and give them tea and rum. <clears throat> yes, sir. Mr. Solomons. Good morning, Mr. Solomons. Do you know something off me? This morning, I tried to read the paper, and uh, I realized the only consequence of my terrible accident is that I now need glasses. You're fucking about with the Russians, aren't you, you silly boy? I've got two choices, Michael. Fuck off to America with Arthur, join the Apaches, or you marry the girl. This isn't a joke. Arthur, are you really going to live with the Apaches? Oh, with that girl that he was fucking with? Yeah, the old Dutch girl, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You love the woman. Mmm, okay. Fucking what? We can't marry her like the rest of us. She doesn't want a family to know. She doesn't want to have the baby. Why not, woman? And we said when that bell rings, but they all go to the big room. Come on, Tommy has a plan. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Arthur? Oh, <laughs> I, I thought I was Bane for a second. Oh, yeah, I don't like you. He has every single ring that's better. And I also want you to know that I have made my apologies. Why am I on God for abusing yeah, a mm. very holy day to get you cleaned up and battered, which I did? If this was old Arthur, he might have fucking spazzed. What? I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> I hear that you have allowed Jesus to come into your life. Yeah. Oh, you heard that? Yeah, that's beautiful. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? That's, that's lovely. I. The crazy shit is, yo, Tommy, stop it then, bro. You know what he's doing. But I think it's, like, he has to if we're going to be working with him. He has to deal with it. 
Yo! <laughs> Congratulations, Tommy. You now have the finished article right here, sir. So that man, right, he will murder and maim for you with God on his side. Oh my, oh my God. God. Yo. <laughs> what? Oh, that though, Tommy? <laughs> I mean, I'll right, yeah. <laughs> Then, on the other side of the law, decorate that body in Sans Nice. 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 Check off, Skin. Yeah. Now, my body's already been checked a while out. Yeah! I wasn't sure that was the reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. funny yeah. as fuck. Well, like, she checked me all the way down to my oh, shit, yo. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> That's sex. <laughs> I will Damn, don't you want to button it back up? I'm saying, you just ripped off the button from your shirt. After we cross off, chick. That nigga's down with it. Yeah, John's like, like, John's like, wait, so you got like smash? What the Your fuck? <laughs> Sometimes assassins hide the allegiances behind the ball. But you pass the test to a time. Flying colors. Oh, flying colors. Yeah, ta yeah, yeah she playing too much, man. She might have hit in the face. I'm sorry, Raymond. There was a devil. Nah, mommy is the worst. She's, She's wild. wild yeah. Like, yo, I got a girl. Wild. Relax, G. She don't give a fuck. Remember, she does what she wants, bro. To see all the successful. Niggas, I hate this bitch, yo. Nigga, Arthur feels violated. Hell yeah, bro. That's violation. Right, I was buried it. I'm a god. What was that? Look at them boys. I know. Like, I know he's like, why are they do it to me? Yeah, right. <laughs> because John was like, I right, search me. Because John was ready yeah. for that shit. Nah, she knew she was like, this nigga don't want me to touch up a nigga. He got a shorty. Yeah. She welcome to the bourgeoisie. The bourgeoisie. She bougie now. Bourgeoisie, bourgeoisie. Say again? 1921. Well, actually, it's 24 now. Yeah, but it's in the 1920s. Nah, he's calling for the shit. For the abortion. Michael, would you like to welcome Ada, our new head of property and acquisition? Woo! Congratulations. Feeling good, Stefan. Fucking mad out. Prince wants me to suck his cock. What the fuck? Not much do you need to say, yes. It's a fucking madhouse job. That nigga's tripping in there. Probably need jobs. Looks for treat. Bro, all that for a pub, my nigga? I'm cool. You fucking little picky boy, eh? You people, right? You hunted my mum with dogs through the snow. Right, Rumble Stilskin. Let's get over here and have a look at what's in these boxes. That's much nicer. Ten. Damn. Well, that one's worth ten. Five. Just fucking swallow it. Hey, what game are you playing? That lady be looking shot. crazy yeah. at all times, <laughs> son. Like she's seen the devil or something. Go. What the fuck is that? I thought it was all Fabergé. Big, that's a big jewel, bro. I'm like, yeah, what that's the hell a is lot of, Fabergé? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of fucking money. <laughs> you like to be ready to blow up. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> very accurate, my nigga. We're not here because we were bored. At least there's silly games and orgasms. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. <laughs> was this he the same when I grabbed this bro's balls? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this bitch is crazy, nigga. Yeah. Well, she's hitting this nigga, so let's oh. fuck. Are you fucking safe? Are you fucking safe? You want her? You want her? What? See, that's, that's, that's why there's candles. That's why there's candles, bro. She's about to conjure her, bro. I have grace. This bitch got a strangle. I don't know what the fuck type of mystic arts she's doing. Yeah, she bro, I don't know. She literally said, I can't stop playing games with people. She's the master puppeteer. She just loves it. You want her? 
So get him into the brink of damn near about to pass out, and it'll be a little like he's fucking hurt. Like he Grace. He'll hallucinate to yeah. the point where he's fucking his... Grace. Let me help your imagination nigga and choke the fuck out of you. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, at that point, bitch. at that point, nigga, I don't know, that's crazy. No, that's a crazy ass girl, though, bro. Like, she can't. Bitch, she can't choke have me out, nigga. I'm in a threesome with Kaylani and Beyonce, nigga. That's how I'm thinking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Like, it's gonna get this. Nah, get crazy, girl. crazy. I, I don't know why like, I just watched the boy person anyway. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. Like, what yeah, the hell? Bitch. I'll just show you, nigga. White people love boys. This show is wild. Boys. This I've seen a lot of like tells Linda everything. Every single thing. Yeah, well, what else to say? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, you wanna tell everything? Tell her now, nigga. Like, that's it. That's it. You, you told her about the plan, right? Tell her how you fuck this chick too. Well if it ain't the tip two four Q play kickers, eh? That's the homies. Pulled up. Long time no see, mate. Yeah, where did this room go? We need our tool to run from here, and it's a strong room direct. Damn. They got a tunnel underneath the river, bro. Which is difficult as fuck, bro. Yeah, what the fuck? <clears throat> He's like, fuck, man. And if he tells her, mm -hmm. she'll smoke that nigga yeah, tip first. Yeah, sure. Like, he yeah. might have did something to him as a kid. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely what it is. Better off without it, Paul. Fuck. He asked me, Paul. And I said, yes. And I said, you put up bullets. Oh, yeah, nah. He's smoking him end of the season. Fuck his bride. Next episode. I swear to God. They knew Chelsea took place. If my son pulls the trigger. I will bring this whole fucking organization down around your ears. Oh, <laughs> shite. What? Nigga, yo. Off work, get the fuck out. Like, nigga, I couldn't be a nigga in these type of scenarios, bro. I'm like, you said what to me? My nigga, your boys are. Fuck, like, yo. Like, get nigga, get the hold this nigga in right now. We hitting this shit right now. What's going on? What's the. Like, nigga, there's no way he kills you. Gonna take. Nigga, like, well, I'ma kill you. Like, she's nah, crazy. Nah, like, like, yeah, and your son, her son, no way son to me like that. Her son is, is a grown ass, ass man. That's the issue. Why you want to take it down? The nigga got violated as a kid. He wants to kill him, and if he does it, it's all. How am I gonna control a nigga to not want to kill a nigga that? Like, how do you do that? Like, yeah, she's it's crazy, like, crazy, my nigga. Like, she's bugging. Nah, I, I, I think. She's like, why even too. cause more problems? So if he kills you, just bring. So if you bring it down, you don't think he's gonna get fucked up from you doing that? I get it. I get it. I don't think she's right, but I get it. Like she, she no, thinks that she, it, she thinks in her mind of minds, she can still shelter this boy. But he's been trying well, to tell Evan, her. Evan, he's been trying never, to tell no, her this whole season. She I never sheltered. She never sheltered. Okay. Him. She, she, the, and she thinks that she thinks that she has. That's delusional. So, no, 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 she thinks that, and she thinks that if she could do that and not let him be a murderer, he's not going to turn out bad. But he's been said, yo, stop it. I'm not a fucking kid. So I think that the fact that she's doing this. If he finds out, it's gonna drive a wedge between them. And that's the worst thing that she doesn't want. And it's not still. I think the reason why she's doing this is because she's missed so much of her son's life that all of the things that she's trying to do is trying to rectify for the fact that she and was in the no. was was the protective. Granted, I don't Robbie, I don't agree with her. Like I don't know. No, no, I'm saying I don't think it's that I don't, I don't think, think it has to do with that. I think it's the fact that he got touched and she got touched and killed the person who touched her and she's still traumatized, so she probably don't want him to experience that. That's what I took from it. Cause she literally did what he did. That's why I don't even get why she won't let him do the same shit and kill the dude. That's why I'm taking from him, like, yo, I don't I want feel him like to have that burden because he's still gonna think about that dude regardless if he kills him. And or not. That's why too, because I feel like and she's now still, a body on I feel like she he's she's so traumatized of uh, from the actual action of her getting touched versus the action of her, of her killing the officer. She doesn't regret coming. No, I'm thinking it's, I think it's not. Nah, it's one and the same because killing anyone is gonna make you. Because even when she went to confess, she does feel. How bad that she killed yeah, him. No, nah, she, she, said, it. she said she confessed that she didn't feel bad that she killed him, though. In the confession. Mm -hmm. She said so she didn't like, feel bad about killing him. She said she, she didn't feel bad about killing him. She was just like, 
she's just more traumatized of the actual situation happening versus Kellum. She thinks she, he deserved to die. Yeah, but okay, I don't, I don't, I don't think that. why I don't agree with that, because she, I think she didn't even get that, because even when she told the dude with the painting, she even lied and said, yo, I didn't kill him. That girl in the picture killed it. That really shows you where. Well, that's not a lie, lie, my nigga. That's a that's, that's a, a her trying to that's, that's her trying to distance herself from that. That's like my, how she feels. No, that's, that's clearly that's, her, nigga. That's my point. What I I'm don't saying, get she's it. delusional. Like I'm basically trying to say. But that's like, not delusional. That's like a mental thing. Like no, she's that's trying delusional, to. No, delusional, bro. Okay. You're look, I'm looking at a picture of myself and I'm saying, Yo, Pat. I didn't do it. The nigga in the picture. That's she didn't say I didn't do it. She knows that she's a person. Yeah, she knows she's no, a picture, point, my nigga. That's he's a, saying the fact that he's trying, like that she's trying to separate herself yeah, like, from that action. Literally said that. It kind of shows that she does have a thought but, of remorse oh, towards that. All right, so because okay, you wouldn't want to separate yourself from an act that you don't care. Because if, if, if I did something and there's a picture of me and I'm like, yo, this Rob didn't do it, but that Rob in the picture. I'm being delusional. I'm trying but to she make didn't myself. Say th this person didn't do it. That person in the picture did it. She just said that person in the picture caught a body. She didn't say this person didn't do it. She was just, when she said that, she was distinguishing herself just from said the I. picture. Because like, well, you, know what I'm saying? Saying, you can just agree. say I, because the pictures that, of myself, you can just we say I. You don't take that when she said that, she was distinguishing herself from that picture when she said that. Yeah, but it was more so, so what are we talking for me, about? it was, for me, how I seen it, like, yo, she has a lot of trauma because of that whole situation. And it was more so, I'm leaving those feelings of that feeling that I had in that picture of that woman. That's my point. I mean, yeah. That's really what I'm saying. That's delusional. That's, not delu that's, that's not how, how it works. I, I that's how she, I, I can't, that's how I she can't copes. Do. You can't that's tell people fine. how to no, cope. No, 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 no. I could, Evan. No, you you can. can. Evan, you're just If you no, cope Evan, listen, in a delusional yeah, way, I'm it'll saying, still be I, If something happened to me, and for me to make it go away from me, to be like, yo, that wasn't me that did it. That's the person in the picture. That's cool if it's gonna help me, but that is a form of delusion because yeah. it's still me. I'm You're not, basically I, trying to avoid I'm yourself from accepting the I'm reality. Myself, like, it wasn't <laughs> but me, she it was the other. Her. Wait, it's the old me, it's still me. Nigga. But she's she avoiding herself from accepting that. Accept the reality when she's already accepted the reality that she killed me. Yeah. Yeah. In the conversation, she's trying to put it behind her. That's all I've seen that I'm putting it behind you. That going down good. What I'm trying to say is, I think the killing definitely affected her. Regardless, she went to go confess to the dude that did. Even if she said, I don't have no feelings, when she said that. The entire situation. When she said that painting thing, that's what I'm saying. Like that was a dude that uh, a dude that's innocent. When I kept saying, "Yo, she's gonna have to change for him," she wanted to explain, like, "Yo, that girl in the picture." Like she was already trying to distinguish the two, and I'm basically like, "Yo, it's still you. Like you did that. She that's not." That. But in that but moment, she, she was separating. And I'm like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't take it from that. From that I took it like that because, like, yo, even like. My thing is like I'm even thinking like the dude looking at the picture and, and we like, all said that it too. That's so why poetic, when that like, happened we all said that. Literally when that we like what she talking about. That, that's how I'm like we all even reacted like that. Like why is she acting like that's not her. Yeah, but when, when you I play it back, I, I remember well, there was people that. Yeah, I, 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 I definitely did. Yeah, yeah. I know what I heard. Like, nigga, it wasn't like, just. Like, I'm, like, not I'm, like, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that everybody. I'm just speaking for myself. We were literally like, yo, why? We were literally like, yo, why is she saying that for? I literally said, I'm like, oh, she confessed. Like we literally had a whole convo when it happened, and we was like, yo, why is she acting delusional? We were literally saying that. I thought that's what I'm saying. Like it was said. I thought it was said that she was pretty much telling the dude. We were. I thought we were saying why is she telling the dude that she killed that she killed the dude because because that's what I took it as. I took it as she was telling the dude. Nigga, I, I don't even know if that dude's like even ready for information like that. Like, yo, I'm a murderer. Like, I was like, oh shit. Like, yo, I'm a murderer. She did it though. I didn't do it. She clearly knows that the guy knows it's her, nigga. But I think that's what I'm that's thinking too. I, I'm, I'm not saying, saying she does it. I'm saying she's being delusional by separating the two. But like, you're making it saying when she said that, that's not what she meant. So what the fuck did she mean when she said that? I, I didn't think that she was delusional, but I just told you guys that, that she was leaving those like, emotions in that no, picture. Like, I'm basically saying I don't want to feel like that person. Tell that guy like I'm. That is not me. That the person in the picture did that. I'm a complete different person. I'm literally saying that's a delusion. She's still in that life. That's why I'm saying she's delusional. She's not away from that life, nigga. That's still her. That's why I'm literally saying, yo, she has to tell the nigga the truth, and she's making it seem like, yo. That is not me no more. That's the past me. Nigga, she might kill another nigga for all we know coming up. And, I think and that's, that's why I said she's delusional. She's still in the life. Well, I think that that's doesn't why she's like she saying that. Because she's literally saying, I'm not that person. I get what you're she's saying. I game. get what you're saying. I just don't not, agree with that. You don't think she has opportunities to still kill people? I mean, obviously. So my point, Everybody in the fucking world but, has. But that's still her is my point. You're someone that if you're if something's wrong to you, done wrong to you or something physically to your family, you're going to kill them. That is still you. That's what I'm saying. Like, she's made it seem like that's not her no more. I'm like, nigga, that's not true. I mean, wait a minute. She's written, wait she, a minute. The only murder that we know her to have done is him, correct? Well, to, what are you talking about with Campbell? Yeah, that's the only murder we know. I mean, to our knowledge. Yeah, so I'm saying, yeah. like, that's the, that's, we don't know that she's killed anybody No, else. she killed someone, and I'm basically saying, yeah. from seeing the priest and that stuff, they, 
Pretty much, that's you, her most traumatic right, experience you, of her you life. Think, you, you think there's a high chance she might kill somebody later on in the season, yes or no? No, because I only seen her kill one right, person. Right, actually, you think there's a high chance that she, you, you think out of all this, the like, last person she could kill is, is that person? No, I think she can. Okay, yeah. Pat, you educated wise, from what you've seen, you don't think that there's a high chance she might kill somebody else. Yeah, easily. Like, we're watching a show where they're all catching bodies. I don't think that's just one body. It's okay, we can have different opinions. I know, that's why I still But the thing is, you gotta go off the context of the show. Do you think that she's gonna kill somebody else? Yeah, I think that's why I think that's why I think But that's why I think the killing. And with every, because like I said, I didn't interpret when she said that. I didn't interpret it the way you guys interpreted yeah, it. Yeah, like I thought I interpreted it as like she literally just told the dude I caught her body. That's why I'm thinking like that's why I'm thinking, and especially saying that if I think she's gonna kill again, I don't think she's that bothered that she killed it. I think no, it she said that. that. Yeah, I took it yeah. as like yeah. um, remember he was like drawing this such complex face. I think she was just coming off the fact that she had killed the dude, and like when she was like intimate with him at that moment she was utilizing that bad version of the painting that she that he drew as a version to turn him on because remember she was like yeah i killed a man and remember she was like touching him while she was yeah, saying yeah. this type shit so I, I took it as that's why she was doing it and i don't think it was uh i don't think it was so much a way i took it maybe it was a way to kind of separate the it fact that like so. i'm over I, it and I, and I, that I moment when you painted that. me I was that person, but I think I've overcome the fact that I, I've done that. Because she said that there was like therapy with them. Like, yeah. yo, I just stand in the dress and we talk about everything yeah. and it, like that type of shit. So and that's what I'm saying. She thinks she's changed from that. And I'm saying that's not like, look what we just seen the last, her yeah. talking, I'm going to take this whole organization down. That's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, she did not change my nigga. I don't, I don't still, think that like, I don't even understand how like this. That's the thought process. She'll take the whole like, nigga, now she she been said, kill she, Yo, has like, she not yo, shown you this thing? Like, this you have this argument out. that like she doesn't want to protect the kid. She does, my nigga. She's not doing you a great job at it, said, but she said, wants to I protect the kid. That. I don't know why you, you said just said. That. He, you just said earlier. You said, yo. She already letting the nigga go. Let her do whatever he wants to do. You didn't just say that earlier. No, no, no. no, no that's no, not no, what I said. So what'd you say? What'd you say about Mike? What'd you say about Mike? Well, you can go. So I already know what he said. What'd you say about Mike? What I said about Michael that is she's that. wilding because because I said that she wants to protect him. I miss said saying Michael's a grown man and that if he's gonna want to kill the dude, he's gonna make it happen. You can't blame it on Tommy and say you're gonna take down his organization when a nigga got raped and he wants to kill the dude. That's what I'm saying. I, you can't. That's no, I, think like, argument, I think you said, said something along lines. No, that's like, literally what I said. Bad. That's literally what I said. No, that's literally nah, what I said. Nah, you can go running back. Nigga, three niggas said it here. I didn't. That's, that's literally what I said. Listen, I watched three niggas say something. They still be wrong. Evan, I didn't. Yo, guys, I didn't. That's not my argument. That's not what Robbie said. And the only other thing on top of that he said was like, yo, she's wanting to because like. She brought him in his life. Yeah, right. so because he's already bad. Like he's no, already. That's not like he's in his life. No, this is what Robbie said because I remember. She didn't the bring him into wait, life. Let's 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 say yeah. Yeah. She didn't bring him into life. Because the argument, the argument like, started, like, the argument started with me and Robbie, and I remember Robbie's rebuttal to me was like, "Yo, I feel like." The reason why she's acting the way is that she she's acting is because yo she got she also got touched and he killed and she killed the dude yeah, and, and she doesn't want to go through the touched. same thing yeah that's what he said I never said yeah, he was but, bad already so yeah, like, he didn't say that, that or she brought him into it or something when when was he like bad already you said I said he was bad at least I never said that he was bad already because oh, when yeah, was he or bad that unless she was, brought him into this so she and didn't remember you're sitting over there we ready. Remember that sometimes when you say something, I didn't hear it. You probably didn't hear me right from over there. Right? What, now you probably even stick it for what, what I said because what I said to Robbie was, I'm pretty much sure because he wasn't in his, he wasn't in her life the whole time. She's doing what she can to try to protect him, and she's caught, she's coddling him a little bit too much, but she shouldn't, right? And then Robbie had a difference in opinion, and then he said what I said that he said. Just now, literally, yeah, because that's literally what Robbie said. Okay, um, so what do you call it? How do you guys think it's gonna go? Who's gonna Who's gonna die this episode? Because I definitely think somebody died in this episode. Oh, the Russian bitch is dead. Tatiana? Yeah. Oh, the Russian bitch. The um, the Russian bitch has been um, did a fucking Tommy. She dying, and then she's gonna say some like deep shit before she gets killed. Like, see, you can do whatever you want, and then she's gonna die. I really think that she died. That was crazy. <laughs> Crazy bitch. <laughs> Think yeah, about it. She'll, yo, die. That she'll, would die, die, yo. she'll die when they're breaking into the crib. And I could, no, I'm not saying you're wrong, nigga. I don't know. You can do die. whatever you want. See, so, yo, who kills, who kills Hughes? Michael or Paul? Michael. I only it think those two are the only two people that can do it. It might be her, bro. I'm telling That's you. That's how you said Michael or Paul, nigga. I know. I'm saying oh, it might right. not, <laughs> you said it might not be Michael. It might be her. Okay. Yeah. I would think I would think that Paul wants to do it, but Michael doesn't. And I think that that's the turn of his character. Cause we, I feel like this season they've teased it so much. No, that's the main reason. Like when he's holding the gun, he puts the gun at these niggas. He did it. You see him like kind of going this way, and now he's faced with two decisions that I think are gonna fuck him like morally: killing Pastor Hughes, 
who he may have been or something about from as a kid. I guess they never confirmed, but it seems like that's what they're alluding to. And then um, he might have his girl get an abortion that he doesn't want to have. The only reason they're doing it is because her family, she don't want to, like, she can't bring him around her family or some shit. Mm-hmm. He's a gangster. So I think those two decisions are going to be tough. Yeah, I, I think she's, I think she's going to uh, end up killing uh, the priest for yeah. the simple fact that she doesn't want Michael to experience that. Mm-hmm. And I think Michael's going to find out and have issues with her. And I think the foreshadowing is from when she was telling the mm-hmm. pastor that she was going to kill the priest. I think that's going to end it from seeing this episode and how she's like, yo, if he does that, like, nigga, you don't say she literally said, yo, if he touches that priest, I'm taking the whole. So my thing is only two things will happen. She, one of them kill him first or she kills him first before. Because if he kills it, you already know it's about, it's about to be World War, uh, mm-hmm. Civil War in that bitch. Yeah. I agree I'm with that. Because that was literally my prediction, the fact that they foreshadowed the event when she confessed. And now she's starting to bring down the organization. Michael's, I mean, Tommy's only resolution to this would be like, all right, well, he got to die. You don't want him to do it, you do it. It's a loss, loss, And that's why, it's I, think, a and that's why I think it's a, she's delusional because the conversation she had with that dude was like, that's not me no more. That's the, when she just left, now it's like, if you guys do this, I'm turning, like, her face was like, I'm bringing it, and I, that took me, I'll bring the organization now, I'll kill people, like, it's going to war if my son experiences what I had to, I have to experience with killing the, the priest. Because that's the only reason why it would even make sense, because why wouldn't you want him to kill him? Like, think about it, because she literally experienced the same thing and she killed a person yeah. where I think it's traumatizing her, not only the rape, but also the fact that she killed a man. And don't feel anything about it. Like, she, because when she confessed, it was like, I killed a person and I don't feel anything. So the last thing you would want, I, I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? That's a terrible thing to have, like, to be numb of killing a person. I, like, I, I feel a way because it's, I don't feel nothing. Exactly. Like, that, not that, that I would never, huh? yeah, exactly. That's yeah, what yeah, I'm no, saying, that, yeah. That's, that was my issue. whole point, what I'm saying, the whole point of her is like she's in a delusional state of that, and I think she's comparing it to her son. That's why she's so heated. Like, yo, if this nigga do it, he's gonna be just. And mm-hmm. I trust me, he's like hell. What I'm living. Mm-hmm. That's why she's like, yo, if you yeah. let him do it. I'm burning this shit down. That's why I think she she will actually kill somebody. Yeah. Like she got a, and that's why I think she's delusional. What she was saying to that nigga, because that's not really you. You're in a split second, you could change. Like it was a neck. It wasn't been a full day. She just went home the next day. <laughs> ready back. That's why I say that's delusional. Because you were saying you were in a moment. You were just feeling. Uh, you know when you're a pillow talk or whatever, you're, high, yeah, high, you're fucking, you just say whatever the fuck comes to your mind, but nigga, you know that's not really you. Out of body, go yeah, that's how I feel. That shit's funny as fuck. Not to mention that um, it's her fault that we're in this predicament too, because she fucking told the exactly. priest. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's yeah. got to come full circle mm-hmm. somewhere. Yeah, not no bullshit. That's true. And I think it's a lose-lose for her, because one thing that I think is fucked for Paul is she thought all she needed was her kid back and... She don't know the fuck she doing for the most part. Like she didn't know that if I bring, or she, I don't know. She should, she should have known. Like yo, look at what happened to Ada. Ada don't want to be a part of that life, but she around it, so she kind of gets sucked into a lot of situations. If I bring my son around this, he's going to get sucked in. And no matter how many times, Tommy, don't do that, Tommy. Now he's a drinker, Tommy. Don't do that, Tommy. Now he's smoking, Tommy. Don't do that, Tommy. Now he's part of the business, nigga. At that point, if you like a kid like that, the way she be pitching it. Yo, I'm shipping you back to whatever you're at. Yo, get back. Like, yo, you were a great kid when you got here. Son, I'll move with you. Fuck the shit. He's I'll go with you. He's not leaving, bro. He won't. He's 18 already. It's yeah. Just, she has no sense. Yeah. That's what I know, but yeah, I'm basically saying, fun. like, she had to get ahead of that before. Because now he's too far gone. And the issue that she has now is you're trying to do everything to protect your kid. But if you overprotect your kid, he's going to hate you. Like, we already see it. Like, and then especially when he sees, like, Yo, you fucked Campbell to get me out. He had a big problem with that. Like he, so he's at a point already where it's kind of like, yo, you can't be my moral high ground. This don't even make no fucking sense, my nigga. And you met me so late and later yeah. in life. That's why I feel like it's like, yo, if she was born with him as a like raised him as a kid her whole life, I feel like she could pull that off. Nigga, you're trying. Like it's like if you've never been that. a dad and then you. Uh, 18 year old now you're like yo do this like nigga yeah. it, it don't work like that and that's why I'm like she's crazy where it's like <laughs> you really think you find him and you think he's just gonna listen to you you didn't race him at all he's just gonna naturally she just she just needs a him say yo you're not my mom like yeah. that's what she he's yeah. gonna get to like yo where the fuck was you I raised my like nigga you ain't gonna here for like two years like don't act like you're my mom over that shit my whole shit is like that's like you get your kid at 16 years old and you a hood person you bring him to the hood and he starts being cool with everybody who's hood and then by month eight, nigga, the nigga want to be hood because that's what he's around. And my family's making millions of dollars. Bro, I'm not going to be able to look at this kid and be like, 
Nah, go back to that little place over there where you had no dollars and two coins to rub together. Yeah, go that, back over yeah, there. The place that he said that, yo, if I stood there any longer, I was going to blow that motherfucker yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to say, that no, nigga already had I like it here. Like I'm with dad in the game. Like, fuck that. So, yeah, I think she has a she has a very skewed idea of what being a parent is because she hasn't been able to fulfill that obligation. So, all right, man. We on to the season finale. That was a long post discussion. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Head over to our Patreon for the full and uncut, man. We are all the way in the next season. You already know the vibes. So we already know what happened now. Y'all can find out what happened already with us. It's your boy, DC. It's your boy, OCLT. It's Maniac. Patrick Gautier. It's your boy, Wells. And that settles it at the, the Round Table. table.